you say now, what you do now, T and Lee, and we back with the crew now, crap shrimp, and you know we review now, cooking up all this real nice food now, what you said now, what you need now, look on green screen HD now, go ahead and subscribe, join the family, T and Lee is the place to be. Hola guys, welcome back to the channel, so today I'm going to be doing another product review, so today I'm going to be doing a smokeless grill, shout out to Phoebe, she sent this over to me from Carl Smith's son, and that's the name of the company. And here is the smokeless grill. I'm gonna give you guys a close up of what all comes inside of the box. Okay guys, so when you open up the package, this is what comes inside of the box. So it comes with this top piece. I'm assuming it goes on top of the lid because if you look, there's holes there. So you'll have to put that together. And then it comes with the cord that you attach so you can plug it up. Then it also comes with the smokeless grill instruction manual and then it also comes with a card telling you a little bit about who they are and how long their products have been around okay so that was a close-up so this is what it looks like here again this is the smokeless grill so it comes with different parts so this is the top here and then as i showed you guys there's a piece that we have to attach to the lid so that was the glass lid the next thing is the non-stick grill plate so that's it right there it has two sides it has like a flat side and then it has like this particular side here next is the heating element which is right here so you can remove this you want to make sure that you do not submerge this in water because there's a risk of electric shock but there it is that's the heating element that comes with the grill. You would just like wipe this down with warm water, maybe some hot soap, or you just don't want to submerge that in water. Next, we have the drip tray right here. So that comes apart. And last but not least, we have the water tray here. So before you start cooking, you're gonna fill this up with two cups of water and then replace it back in there. And then this part is the base. Put this back together. Okay, guys, so we got it all put together. I did need to enlist some help from Lee. So he can put the top on there like I showed you guys. Um, I do wish that in the instructions they gave, you know, an example on how you put the top on because it just doesn't come with the top. So we just basically had to figure that out. So that's just one thing I would say. So yeah, that's it. So today I'm going to be making some pork belly. So I've been having some pork belly marinate for about a day, like a little over a day now. And so I seasoned it up. Let me go to the refrigerator and get that. Okay guys, here's the pork belly here. It's all wet. So here's the pork belly here. I've had it in the bag marinating. I put like some garlic powder, onion powder, fish sauce. I put accent, some lemon, brown sugar fresh pressed garlic all of that in there but basically you're just gonna season it the way you like or whatever you're gonna cook on this I just had some pork belly I wanted to try it out so I'm gonna go ahead and cook that today so the first thing you do is press the on button here oh that's real sensitive I barely had to touch it <laughs> and then you're gonna turn the fan on okay there it is and then you're gonna set your temperature so Let's see, I think I wanna do 350. So you see how you touch it? Let me get you a close up. Okay, here we go guys. So here's a closer view so you guys can see. So this is the on button here. This is the temperature control and the fan. So you always want to turn it on and then always turn the fan on because it says that that helps with the grease buildup. So you wanna do that. So I'm gonna press it on. And then I'm gonna turn the pan on. And I'm gonna put this on about 350 to 400. I'll do three, I'll try 350. 
See how it lights up blue? Okay. So 350 it's going. So it's, whenever it first started cooking, whenever I read the directions, it said that let it warm up and heat up and um, it's gonna burn off, um, I guess any of the, you know the normal smells that are on new appliances? It'll burn it off, so don't worry about any smells or anything like that. It doesn't smell bad, it smells like a new appliance. That's what it looks like. It says keep the top on. But that's it. So I like that. I thought it was going to be all like a grill like this. But it actually has a flat side. And I really like that. And then it has the two handles on the side that you can use to pick it up. But it tells you to be very careful because it is going to be hot. Okay, y'all. So I'm about to add the pork belly. So I'm going to put some on the grill side and then some on the flat side. Sorry, y'all. My angle's all off. I think I want to turn this up. I turned it up to 400, so. It smells really good. So I'm gonna put the top on and let it cook. There we go. Okay guys, so I did end up turning it up to 450 because I wanted to, it to cook a little bit more deeply. And there you can see the grill marks here and then this is the flat plate side it is browning because i have brown sugar you know if you add brown sugar or sugar to anything it causes it to brown more quickly but it, it does give it nice grill marks so there it is and then of course this is the flat top side i just flipped them over but have this side getting grill marks see on that pork belly okay, so so this should be done pretty soon i'm gonna take it off and let you know how it turned out okay y'all so i took this piece off that's what it looks like i'm gonna go ahead and cut it up and see what it looks like i might go ahead and like add it back to get it a little bit more crispy but we'll see okay, guys so i went ahead and cut up the pork belly and then there are the bone pieces and I'm cooking it. Letting it cook all the way through. Next time I would just make this thinner or make sure I get one without bone. When I bought this, I didn't realize I had a bone in it. So I will make them a little thinner so I can cook better all the way through. But yeah, it's a cooking. I'll be back when it's finally done. Okay guys, so I think we're done. I took it off and here we are. So there's the cut up pork belly and the meat that's still on the bone. Um, I did, like I told you guys before, when I put it back on, I put it on. Oh, okay, you wanna talk? Well, the pork belly's talking. Anyway, I put it on 300 because again, I did marinate these in some brown sugar along with other things so of course i don't want it to just burn so i'm going to go ahead and put this on my plate but you can see nice and crispy mm -hmm. so as you guys can see this claims to be smokeless and i really love the fact that it is i have not seen any smoke come from this I've watched reviews on other smokeless grills and I've seen smoke, but there's no smoke. You've seen it the whole time. No, it's popping though. Look at that grill. So I'm gonna take it out. Let's 
good. Look, look at that pork belly. So I'm going to continue to take these out and I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So here's the finished product. This looks really good. So the next thing is to taste it. So let me cut a little piece of the pork belly here. Okay, so I just cut this little piece right here. There's the pork belly. Looks really good. So let's taste. Mmm. Okay. I like the marinade that I use. Really good. Okay. You guys, this is my first time making pork belly, so I was just trying it out. So I didn't really altogether know what I was doing. <laughs> But I mean, it's pork, so I figured it out. But I would say, yes, this turned out really good. Okay, so now to say what I think of this smokeless grill. I think it's really good. As you guys can see, whenever I was cooking on it from 300 to 450, you saw no smoke. It cooked really, really, really good. And when I took it out the first time to cut up the pork belly, I had to clean the grill before I added it back. It was very easy to clean um very easy to function very simple function so there was nothing hard about that um i really like that i like that it's easy to clean i like that it's a nice size also when you turn it on it's not super loud i was wondering when it said that it had a fan if it was going to be like super loud but as you guys can hear when i started it it was you can barely hear it like you can hear it come on now but it's not a loud noise like my microwave is louder than this <laughs> So I really enjoyed that about this. So yeah, I can't wait to try some burgers, some steak, like all that kind of stuff on this grill. Don't forget to check the link in the description box below. I'm gonna leave it down there. And then also you can check it out to see if they have any sales going on. But yeah, I would definitely recommend you purchase this. I wanna see how it does on other items as well, which I'm pretty sure it's gonna be good. I do like the fact that you can have it from 200 all the way up to 450. And again, I love the fact that the fan is quiet and that you can cook and y'all, I didn't hear nothing. It was just cooking, doing its thing and it wasn't smoking up my house. So y'all definitely, I would recommend you go check this out. Again, check the link in the description box below. Thank you again, Phoebe, for reaching out to me to do the smokeless grill review. I really enjoyed it. And yeah, go get you one, y'all. All right, y'all, till next video.